Good morning everybody. It's very exciting in our house this morning because last week we planted a bean and we've been watering the bean all week and all of a sudden it started to grow. So I've taken it out of the pot very carefully to show you this morning. Now here we are, look. So here you can see the root. So the root goes down into the soil like a, a straw and it sucks up all the water that you've been feeding your plant and it goes into the plant and it, here you can see the tiny little shoot that is starting to appear so the root goes down and the shoot will go up and that's what the stalk and the leaves will grow from so next week we should have a stem and the leaves I would love to see your beans if you could post some pictures on Twitter so we can see whose has got grown the most. So I thought because we've been looking at beans this morning we could read the story Jack and the Beanstalk and then I've got some little jobs for you to do at the end again. So I'll just get it up. Well, here we go Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack. Jack lived in a cottage with his mother. They were very poor and their most valuable possession was a cow. One day, Jack's mum asked him to take the cow to market to sell. On the way, Jack met a man who gave him some magic beans in exchange for the cow. Wonder if Jack's mummy will be happy. When Jack came home with the beans, his mum was angry. She threw the beans out of the window and sent him to bed. Look at her face. The next morning, Jack looked out of the window and a giant beanstalk had grown in the garden. Jack decided to climb the beanstalk. It was so tall it went right up to the sky and through the clouds. When Jack finally reached the top he saw an enormous castle. I think Jack's very brave for climbing that beanstalk. Jack decided to go inside. All the furniture was huge. Suddenly Jack heard a loud noise and he ran into the cupboard to hide. An enormous giant came into the room. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman, he bellowed. The giant sat down at the table. On the table was a hen and a golden harp. Blair said the giant. The hen laid an egg. It was made out of solid gold. Sing, said the giant. The harp sang and the giant fell asleep. Jack jumped out of the cupboard and took the hen and the harp. As the jack ran, the harp cried, Help, master! The giant woke up and called, Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. And he chased Jack to the top of the beanstalk. I wonder what's going to happen at the end of the story. Jack climbed down the beanstalk and the giant followed him. As Jack got to the bottom of the beanstalk, he shouted, Help! Jack's mum came out with an axe. She used it to chop the bottom of the beanstalk. The giant fell and crashed to the ground. He was never seen again. With the golden eggs and the magic harp, Jack and his mum lived happily ever after. It's a happy ending to our story. That's the end. So I thought your job this week could be 
to get creative and I would like you to build your or make your own beanstalk so have a look around your house and see what you could use you could use bricks you could use junk modeling boxes you could use sticking materials so I wouldn't I want to see lots and pictures of beanstalks that you have made on tapestry and Twitter oh. bye